Welcome back, everyone, to Summer in the Psalms. In our last little lesson, we talked about Psalm 3, and we talked about lamentation and crying out for help, and David as the model for how we're to pray during times of difficulty, and how we're to praise while awaiting for Jesus' return during this moment of spiritual warfare and battle, while the kingdoms rage against each other as Jesus' people and the church militant march forward to push back the gates of hell by fulfilling the great commission that he left behind to his disciples and then was handed on to us through generations of Christianity. But we ask the question, where does lamentation and complaint come into the picture? Because the Psalms are filled with lamentation. In fact, this first book of Psalms, which is Psalms 1 to 41, is really mostly complaints. If you were to read Psalm 3, Psalm 4, Psalm 5, Psalm 6, and Psalm 7, it's almost all complaining on David's behalf. And how are we to categorize that? As Christians, what's the role of complaining? Because we read in the New Testament how we need to be thankful and, and, and consider all difficulties a joy and an opportunity for God's sanctifying work inside of our lives. At the same time, Jesus himself complained. Uh, he complained about Pharisees and he was frustrated with them. And Paul complained. Paul complained about people who were teaching a wrong doctrine. So what's the role of complaining and how are we to categorize these psalms where the psalmist cries out for help? Well, this tells us, the book of Psalms tells us that as Christians, we're not expected to have everything figured out. Now, we have this all-orienting relationship with God through the Holy Spirit, thanks to Jesus, that keeps us anchored. However, we can come to him as we are with our frustrations, just like the psalmist, and vocalize our struggles and what we're dealing with. We don't, we're, God doesn't expect us to have an answer to everything. And he wants us to share our concerns, our struggles, our difficulties with him, with the posture of psalmoi, that is, praise. So much of it's about the heart posture. Complaining for complaining's sake because out of bitterness is one thing, but complaining out of a posture of worship, trust, faith, and praise, as the psalmist does, is what we are called to do as well. You'll notice that when David, as the psalmist, complains, he always finishes his complaint or always surrounds the complaint with, Lord, you've been faithful in the past. You've been, you will be faithful in the future. So please help me now. It's this, it's anchored. The complaint is anchored and oriented by a heart posture of praise and trust. And so following that example, that's what we're called to do, to come as we are with our frustrations, our emotional struggles, the difficulties of life, but doing it with the help of the Holy Spirit against the backdrop of faith, trust, perseverance, and steadfastness that God will be faithful to deliver. So that's how we categorize complaint according to the example of the psalmist. So we'll see you next time.